We'll finish with a very quick discussion of scrolling. The layout panels like Stack Layout and Grid do not have scrolling built in. If you want scrolling, you need to add a scroll view to your UI. Scroll view provides a scrollable container for a single piece of content. That single piece can be an individual view or a complete layout. If the single piece of content added to the scroll view is larger than the viewable surface, then the scroll view provides touch-based scrolling in the horizontal or vertical directions, or both. To add scrolling, you nest a view inside a scroll view. The nested view can be something simple like an image or a complex panel like a grid. Scroll view will add scroll indicators to the UI. The size of the indicator gives a clue to the user about how big the content is. A smaller indicator means more content. By default, scroll view allows scrolling only in the vertical direction. If that's not what you want, you can use the orientation property to request horizontal or both instead. In this case, since our monkey image is larger than the viewable area in both directions, adding an orientation of both gives us both a horizontal and a vertical scroll indicator. Generally, you should limit yourself to a maximum of one scrolling container per page. You would not typically nest one scroll view inside another scroll view, or inside another scrolling view like a list view. Nested scrolling usually creates confusing user experiences. Here, for example, the user could scroll either the internal list view, or the entire stack layout containing the list view.